Hi guys, we're back. This is gonna be a little bit different of a video today because we've never really done nothing like this before. But behind me here, I got all kinds of boxes. $6,000 worth, in fact, of Sim stuff. Damn! <laughs> so, that's what me and Will's gonna be doing today. I'm gonna dress the elephant in the room. And that's the fact Chase ain't here. Fucking part-timer, dude. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. We got a bunch of stuff from Track Racer. We have no clue how to install this. Hopefully there are some sort of instructions in it. Uh, it's a bunch of extruded, extruded, is that the right word? Extruded? Yeah. Aluminum. So we're gonna see, we got a bunch of stuff from Sim Shop as well. They're uh, located in Texas. Got some Sim Magic stuff. Official Formula Drift sponsor. So I'm already halfway there. But I'm not going to ramble much on that. We got to try and get this done. So we're just going to start unboxing and try and see if we can get this stuff put together. And we'll show you along the way. Half a dozen SRT4 head gaskets. Don't need that. All right. So conveniently down here in the basement, got this sick ass brick pad. Useless. I think there used to be a fireplace here. But it is the perfect dimensions to put a sim on this thing. Measured it out, got the track racer TR80-160. I don't know, it's been a minute. Right, so we got the assembly manual up online. Looks like it's 53 pages long, so that's pretty nice. Looks fun. So I think they call it the TR160 is because this is 160 millimeters right here. Oh. And the TR80 is literally half of it, so it'd be Okay. That's just what I'm yeah. in the dome right here. But my Sim Magic stuff, I actually went with the Alf, no, the Ultimate. So it puts out a lot of Newton meters, and apparently, you get you a cheap rig, it'll start flexing that. I don't know. You think somebody's breaking into the house? I don't know. What we got? Well, we got uh, orange citrus, vanilla, ice cream, caramel, and cinnamon roll. Dude. This is like a little dessert. <laughs> Chase ain't ever even been to my house. Never. I just snuck in. Dude just walked in here. <laughs> so those were sliders over there, right? Yeah, I don't know. I might have got a little wild and bought two sets. Like I was going to have a passenger in this son of a bitch or something. <laughs> I, I'm at a loss right now, dude. You ain't got money. What's it like, bro? Dude, I don't know. I had to sell my motorcycle and my car to afford this. So am I allowed to claim this is budget? No. no. What do you mean no? Ain't nothing budget about this. Bro, those are the cheapest 2K god dang curved 32 inch monitors you can buy. And? And then? Everything else is... <laughs> and then? <laughs> it was Black Friday, dude. Damn. It was a deal. Fanatec was running deals. I don't know if y'all seen that. Fanatec was getting wild on Black Friday. I don't have that kind of money to watch things get wild. Y'all, it was cheap as hell. Wasn't it cheap? Like, they was running dumb deal. Like, DD2s and shit for like 300, 400, something like that. I'm over home. I'm with you guys Same still. Dude, like, I'm never going to play it. Exactly. Because I get COVID again. Well, maybe. Well, I'll, I'll play mine every night. When we all got up. You just hate yours. And that's why we're going to go to Chase's house. Test his <laughs> out. And clown on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to Will's house, check his out, compare all of them, and the shop. We built. Will's built. The one at the shop and his house. This and you. I got mine a real good deal. <laughs> and it's been about all it is. It's a real good deal. It's old though, too, ain't it? Built 2011. Okay, so it's time for an upgrade. That's why you hate it, dude. The computer's a set a 960 card. Someone's gonna be in there and be like, that card fucks, dude. No, it don't. But <laughs> back in the day, maybe. Glad you're doing it. I appreciate you. Hey, bro, I'm here for you. You know, y'all don't even like me. Dude, I waited an hour at the shop for you just I because I wanted it. you in the video. Because I was like, the video going to be better because we're just going to talk shit. <laughs> it says I'm almost home fucking four hours away. <laughs> what the hell? I'm almost to get on a plane from Colorado, dude. Well, I'll listen, be here. I was on the other side of the country. And again, I was there for you guys. How was, the fuck are you almost home? Well, I mean, I've been gone for three days, so I was on the last quarter of being home. Man, so he's gonna hand me hardware, and he's sitting over here rubbing his beard. All right, you understand the assignment here? I mean, if that's how it goes, I don't like it. What are these for? These tabs don't tab up. 
That's what I'm fucking telling you. That's why I wanted a five, but we couldn't. Uh, we have everything right here, and it's the same part number. Well, as the you other used things. them in the wrong place somewhere. What no, they're about? all like that. Hundred percent. What are you talking about? It's just a big gap there. It can't tighten down. That ain't right. Y'all tell me something that ain't right. <laughs> I don't believe in it. So we need to find... What? Some, here's 16. This will do one side. God. Yeah, 16 bones. <laughs> one side? Eight, nine, ten, yes. 11, 12. What's this for? This is, so this is apparently the upright. Alright, so there's 16 of these hoes. Oh, no. I gotta go. Dude. I forgot. I got life. I got a lot. <laughs> I might be able to do this cheaper, but I still don't think I'm going to do it. <laughs> so earlier, I thought I broke something, and they made fun of me. Well, you did break something. See these little tabs? Well, you can't see them. Ooh. Right there. See those tabs? In the middle of that bracket right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I broke one. But. That's that thing over here. Here we go. Here we go. So as you can see by the diagram right there, you got the little tabs, <laughs> and then you got these lightning bolts and this dude got safety glass uh, so i'm assuming you torque him things to bust off so old harry potter style but <laughs> make sure you got eye protection all right chase that's dumb, here's an example dude you done got shit in your <laughs> eyes get some safety glasses dude close your eyes here we go ready oh god oh my god <laughs> dude holy all right yeah that's what you're supposed to do i wouldn't believe that if the instructions didn't say it. yeah if the instructions didn't have lightning so bolts dumb. i wouldn't have known that was loose as heck well brother keep tightening <laughs> and where's the tab go? Did it just turn to dust? <laughs> that's all i can tell you brother the instructions don't say what to do with the tab it just says once they're gone they're gone well, that makes me feel better because this thing was crooked. It's got a little recess that when they break, it goes into the recess. You can see them on. I know, but y'all are like, it is what it is. Oh, well, Chase, did you realize that it ended up being, it is what it is? <laughs> Hi, y'all. So it's a new day. I believe everyone was tired of dealing with this thing, but it looks like I finally got it pretty much together. We got a lot of adjustment we still got to do, but... We're at the point to where we gotta open the box and get the steering wheel on here. So I'm gonna get ready and open this thing up and see what this thing look like. All right, so I got it slid up out the box. We got some nice stickers. Instruction manual, we'll probably skip reading that. Shoo. I believe this thing puts out like 21 newton meters of torque. Comes with the emergency kill switch just in case it decides to break your fingers off. We are gonna be front mounting this thing. So we're gonna have to figure all that out. Like I said, I'm on my own today. Don't really know what I'm doing, but we'll get it figured out. All right, so it looks like we got it all mounted up. It's looking good. Sturdy as hell. Well, everything's still loose. Woo! All right, so we got the shifter here. This thing's pretty sick, actually. It's got a switch on the side of it, so you can go from H pattern to sequential. Dig that. Got the hydro. We're going to go ahead and bust these things open. So I went ahead and got all this stuff mounted. It's pretty secure. Like I said, still got a little bit of tightening up to do once I get this slid to where I need it, but everything feels pretty great on that. So now we're off to the pedals. I went with the Simmagic P2000s. Oh, hell. What a plate. I don't know if we need that or not. More stickers, of course. Good Lord. Now this is a hydraulic setup breaking thing absolutely nuts i didn't need it but i wanted to use this sim for more of uh seat time per se you know in the off season i wanted it as realistic as possible keep it as close feeling to like these actual cars that we're building you know the manual brake stuff like that that's why i actually have a haptic motor here that's going to go onto the back of this brake and basically feel identical to real brakes in a car more or less this stuff is wild Bunch of different springs for different pressures and stuff like that. If you throttle one, if you want your throttle a little bit stiffer, a little lighter, you know, oh, hell. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff unboxed. Get it tossed up there. I'm actually starting to realize that I'm apparently building a sim rig that is much nicer than any actual car I've ever built. But it's looking like we're getting there. Um, it's about time to start on the triple monitor setup, which I believe is everything in this box and then some over here. So we're going to get that going on. This is going to be a massive bitch <laughs> to pick up and get over onto this pad. But 
we'll figure it out. Holy hell, I got this place destroyed, but it's pretty much together. Like I said, there's a little bit of tightening up to do. I gotta manage to move this thing somehow over there, but if you take a look over here, it's almost three. I got work in the morning, so I'm getting into bed. We'll try and get the monitors on tomorrow. Next day, we're back. Got the old part-timers with us. <laughs> Either way, for this sim rig here, we're gonna be putting one of my spare SRT4 neon seats on it. We was wondering how we was gonna do it since it's just got this extruded aluminum. What's the proper terminology for it? It's technically aluminum profile, if you okay. wanna get technical. But it's, it's extruded, that's the process to make it. The front, you look, line right up. We're gonna have to tap it. We might have to drill it out a little bit bigger, but we're pretty good. Uh, yeah, you can see it there. The backs, Will's working on it now. It sits right in the track, so we're gonna be able to put one of them nuts in there that we've been putting for all this stuff. Bolt it down, it's gonna be a pain. Let me scoot this forward. Hit that slider, Chase. Rocket my ass. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Oh, wow, dude. Hold we'll get some big washers to hold this down. Like, this thing ain't gonna see no G-forces or nothing like that. Just my big fat ass getting in and out of it. I got plenty of big washer right here. Do you? Close enough. You said plenty big. That's plenty, dude. It'll hold. It ain't gonna taco through, right? <laughs> I mean, it could. Hell yeah. Gang. Oh, yeah. You know, Sid Magic knew someone was going to put an SRT4 seat on this thing. <laughs> I'm so glad it worked out. Because I did not want to have to use the race quick back here. That's for the Volvo. It would have probably been a pain fitting it on this. Fancy. What do you mean, dude? I mean, y'all just got money. No, you no. you had the nice rig to begin with. And back in 2007, I, I can't help. You, I can't help that I'm just now peeking. I bought my whole sim for a thousand dollars. Same. With the computer. Not same. And all the his games, he sold me everything. I didn't have to buy anything. I, dude. Must be fucking money. Gamer tag, the whole works. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> Hop in there. See what you think, dude. Immersive. She just got VR. No. I get sick in VR. I would I would have, it'd have been cheaper. What you think? You get where it's at, you play it. That feels so strange. Toss him. Seven. Mm -hmm. I ain't tied at all. No, the, most things are still loose for adjustment and whatnot. Not at all. The steering wheel gonna flip his whole thing over. It could. I, was, I thought it was 21, but it's 23 newton meter. That's yeah. that's something. Basically, to set the height up now, we need to just put this monitor on and get your yeah where you would want it, and then we'll worry about. How do we know without seeing like gameplay steering wheel, blah blah blah? You're gonna want the bottom of your monitor dead ass touching this, like a little bit of gap. 17 inches from face or 27 inches or something that it they... depends on the 32 versus 20 like you, you, all that is it's like same field of view as the 27 but you move it back a smidge right yeah i mean it, it, yeah i mean my 40 my 50 inch tv is the same field of view if i push it yeah further back. yeah oh, hell, dude. all right uh pick this fucking big old bitch up hold up we got well, let's, let's, let's clean the brick pad oh, the brick pad <laughs> where's the carpet uh, in that white box right there. Got that brick pad cleaned off. Getting a track racer mat pulled out. Man, this thing feels expensive. It kind of is. But it's RGB, dude. Shit lights up. RGB, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Pick up. Pick up. Losing my speed. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Keep going towards wheel. All right. Down so we can get these monitors on there. Oh, my feet. We got three pegs on. All right, we're going to bust these monitors open. Ain't nothing special about them. Just some uh, 1440p, 165 hertz, one millisecond refresh rates. Ain't nothing special about them. Bro, that's about the standard, ain't it? Okay. I'll say, don't, don't gaslight me, dude. You never took a damn TV out of a box, Chase. What in the f are you doing? <laughs> oh, I did get that 1000R curve or whatever. Pretty gnarly. Calm down. Man. What are you doing? <laughs> Hold on. 
I know why we could we struggled putting that together. Can't even get to the box. <laughs> I just pulled the damn styrofoam out and then just he wouldn't do it. We tried. The fuck you tried. Oh, that was the funnest thing we've done this whole thing. <laughs> got a little fucking selfie. Right? Selfie. <laughs> hey, you made a mess. That's a pretty gnarly curve, dude. Yep. Too much. Well. My goal with the curve was to try and keep it as tight of a package as possible. All right, yeah. So I don't, we're not gonna need the wings. Okay. It's way easier to do this shit on a bed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get all these mounted up. We're gonna do all three or just one? We'll do, well, we're gonna do all three, obviously. We're gonna do better on this next box for you, though. I can't wait to just play in like the out of car behind it view <laughs> on triple monitors. Play with a controller. We're gonna be online together. And I just, I'm gonna sense, like, dude, this dude's a third person. I'm flying to your house to beat you. <laughs> You're gonna be sitting back behind here with an Xbox controller. <laughs> so, without ever playing this thing or turning it on yet, triple monitors suck. It's a lot of fine tuning, tweaking, leveling. It sucks. But it's looking like we're getting her fairly close. We got just a smidge gap, which I'm not complaining about because the bottoms, you can't get them too close as is. But I do got that seamless bezel-less kit, so we're gonna see if that takes up a lot of that gap. But uh, she on the carpet, she on the block. What do you think, dude? Hopefully it's worth it. Wow. It should be. I don't know, define, define worth it. I don't know. So we're getting ready to plug everything up and uh, get it turned on. I don't know, obviously, your field of view, there's a lot of math involved with this if you want it right, you know, immersion. But that's the goal. We're gonna get plugged in, turned on. I got a set I got fours of downloader. We're just gonna to toss something on and uh, see if it's playable. So excuse all the cable management. This is very rough draft here, real quick and dirty. We're gonna go ahead and I had to flip my PC. Pissed about that. Gotta get some longer uh, deep, deep, what down, deep ease. Yeah, so we got one. Once they've been turned on, they'll know when the computer turns on, they'll automatically turn on. Two, three. Okay, okay. Here we go, owner, left hand. Uh, I'm so confused. Damn, dude! You think we's like. God, look at that crusty ass dog. <laughs> you think we's YouTubers or something? Got the rug working. Priority. Wow. Plug this unit in. And. We got a beat. Hey y'all, we just went through a quick calibration on the uh, Sim Magic software, Sim Pro, yeah. and uh, how do we get it to go? Everything like once it's in gameplay, it'll do it. I think. Okay, but we did all the calibration. We got the wheel, the pedals, shifter, handbrake. Uh, kind of confusing to be honest with you, but it ain't that bad once you just figure the fuck out. You know, deal. We got the pouches. Pouches up. up. All right, we're down here at the shop. We're gonna run you through some sim, some sim, sim. Sipping? <laughs> some sim rigs here. Uh, we'll built this thing a long time. How many years we had this thing? Oh, dude, it's been at least four or five. Yeah. Easy. Two by four setup. Got the Mustang seat. PS2 control. PS3? It's PS3 control. <laughs> got a little return spring for a hydro. Some bent up metal straps. TMX. Got a 3D Whoa. printed adapter. That way we can put this carbon fiber wheel on there. That way, you know, this thing kind of weak. Light steering wheel help it spin. Week week. <laughs> Fifty dollar TV. I don't think it was forty, wasn't it? Oh, it was forty, yeah. wasn't it? So this is a cheap bare bones rig, but to be honest with you, it's super nice in terms of most people ain't gonna need no more than this. The only it's thing a man need more is just a better base. Like, I agree. The, like the setup, this is really all a man needs. Yeah, I agree. I should have did this. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to redo another one. Yeah. Dude, it's sturdy. Like yeah, oh, it really solid. is. If you just spend a little bit more time on your, you know, you base. We right? just raised that. Uh, yeah, that, that it was, was not there. It was originally on those two by fours. We raised the seat. Yeah. They just stained it. Stained it? You know, it's already it. got some stain on it. Yeah. So, like I said, we're going to run you through this one. We're going to head to Chase's house, show you his rig. It's something. It's it is. Like, I mean, it's better than this. Maybe. It's older. Definitely older. It might but be on It's more high tech. Yeah. Than this. 
Then we'll run to Will's house, show you his setup. He done a aluminum rig. Mm-hmm. And then we'll all meet up back at my house. Well, all three, we're going to play them all, get a feel, see how we like them. I think this is the best. I hate it. <laughs> Who want to go first? I think Chase should go first. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate this one, but I hate all of them. All right, we're going to have to pick a different car. We ain't 918. Y'all, I was just looking at that. Dude, that's man. the best car in the I game. Ain't no chance. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Dude, going for a flawless lap. Low standard. What do you mean low standard? It's pretty good. Nah, dude, I was heavy braking. I was trying not to wreck. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of Assetto for driving. No. Definitely not. Um, the worst, but but it's still we get to feel everything. There's no feedback on this wheel. It's uh, very little. You know, it's you can turn it up some, but yeah, it, but it's tough. He's already taking these way hotter than I was. You're not pussy, dude. Damn. I just needed one lap out of my three to make it, bro. <laughs> I that screwed up. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's the toughest turn. I will say people are going to hate me. Hot take here is Forza handles way better in this fucking game. <laughs> Project cards is good. I'll fight every single one of you in the <laughs> Race room. I want to know who likes race room because that's where I'm at. I like race room a lot. Never played it. It's good. Like 110 bucks, you can buy. Shoo! I just stop right there, dude. Pause. <laughs> Which four is the handles better? The motorsports or Horizon? Because I'll fight you, you say Horizon. Oh, no, it's definitely motorsports. <laughs> I mean, Horizon, Horizon probably. Better, yeah. For sure. You can drift way better on Horizon. But I've tried. Horizon to... still probably handles better in this game. Yeah, 100%. I just don't like the. But I've not had no seat time on the competition zone shit. And I've heard it's good. I've, I've heard, heard it's, good. it's good. I've heard that is a lot better. Yeah. I mean, it's dedicated for that. So. Oh, he's already taking these way hotter than I was. He got it this lap. No, because he's pushing it and he's going to fucking loop it just like you did and he's going to have to dial it back down. And get one lap on the last <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> 141. 141. Oh. Damn. So I don't know how much of this footage we're actually going to be using. Like I said, we are on the GeForce Experience uh, recording it. So we might toss it in. We might not. We figure we might dabble with uh, putting the fastest lap in. But I don't know. There's going to be a lot of footage in this video anyways. Dude, ever trying to slide this damn C7. <laughs> <laughs> Try hell, bro. They're going to eat me. <laughs> Gotta clutch her a little bit. Obviously with sim rigs, you're pretty much just gonna buy whatever your budget allows. So I'm sure our opinions on comparison ain't really gonna sway you much on this, but it's mainly for us, but something we mentioned. I think, I think it's educational. I think is everybody, will, yeah, I mean, this is different shifters. This is the budget. Like anybody that has a computer and a couple hundred bucks can make this happen. Yeah. We're like, talking a couple hundred, like he's in like two, three hundred dollars. Could have got me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> took those two turns faster than I did. I've already wrecked three times. That's part of it. The hardest part's not wrecking. Absolutely. I just wanted a clean lap after I messed up two. See, I can't do that because I think I'm going to break something. Maybe my wrist. Break Maybe it. the steering wheel. <laughs> this ain't You're not break. breaking your wrist. That thing hits you just. My wheel? I turned it up last night. Oh, Leave it to Beaver. I got him. Unfortunately, with cars with no tires, smooth is the only way. Yeah. So you can take that law faster than I was taking. 
Oh yeah, he's on the ragged edge if he can just get a lap. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I stay on the ragged edge. Oh, we fucked up. Oh gosh. He's on track. What was your, oh, 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 oh. See, look at that. Oh, we done that. We proved that we suck, yep. but partially based off a of wheel, but not really. I just, There's probably this game. a million people <laughs> faster than us with this exact. Oh, we ain't never approved it. We try to be quick. So what do you want to do, drift now? Yeah, slide on us. So all right, so to get some sort of comparison between the four rigs, we figured we should try and do the same track and same car. So we downloaded Gravy Garage. I don't know if y'all have heard of that. Something new to me as well, but kind of a step up from Tando Buddies. Yeah. I'd say. But still a very, very capable uh, pack. It's a good know. party pack. So we got to find that. Uh, <laughs> Still learning how to drive an in-car view, dude. Yeah, man's got a four sense. He's, he was one of them third personers. It's kind of tough. I mean, this wheel doesn't help anything. He can be the, the judge of how drive. I just, I'm such an adaptive driver that oh, I get a couple laps in. What adaptive? I am. It's just, it's. You fight through the suck and it becomes good. My head's not swinging around, so I can't feel these games. I never had a. It's all on visual. successfully made one more complete lap than I had my whole career at the victim's track in any scene. gotta help the wheel along. If you know what it needs to do before it needs to do it, it's yeah, pretty as, good. As you can see, he's been obviously babysitting that wheel the whole time. He had you because you have to. The game just doesn't have the yeah, on like yours and mine, and maybe even his. I don't know. No, his will definitely sling it with you for you if you turn it up. Michael and then turn my mine's all screwed up right now. You, just... you let the car do the work, the wheel do the work. This and you can't let it do. It. Yeah, Otherwise, you... you'll just never be able. It's to gonna be like it. a Volvo with no power steering. Right? The wheel can turn itself. You just can't. You can't transition fastly. Like you gotta take your fucking time. You can't be on throttle until the wheel is where it needs to be. I just literally hate Sims. You can't just give up, dude. What do you dude, mean? I literally, that's why mine hasn't been turned on. I know, could you give up? Cause it sucks. I'm gonna just get out and wreck my motorcycle or <laughs> Fun, if you want to know the truth. It just makes me want to fight every time I get on the Well, yeah, because you get like yeah, in two minutes of being on it yeah. instead of just learning. I would it. rather just go out and wreck my car practice. Because <laughs> I can tell you, I feel like I'd be twice as good in real life. For sure. Yeah, yeah, but there ain't no retries or replays or <laughs> do overs. You told me you called it. Tires. Yeah. There's 
fucking five year olds on TikTok dressing with the same setup, Chase. Get your shit together. Dude, I, I'll never, I'll, I will never be able to play a sim. Yeah, you will. We're about to go to your house and you're about to play it, dude. I'm just <laughs> I dust it off. I'd rather go get an RX8 right now and drive across the mountain. Well, who wouldn't? But not all of us have $30,000 RX8. <laughs> I just hate it. Like, I just hate It's all seat time. That's what it all boils down to. Is you can get as much seat time as you want without killing tires, wrecking your car, blowing it up. None of the downsides. Yeah, that's the size I enjoy. <laughs> good beginner rig. Yeah, that's a good do it all rig. Oh, for sure. Just need a better base. Looks like I have to pay the tech if Chase is going to be a bitch about it. I don't enjoy it more after playing y'all's than chance. You're not going to enjoy it after playing ours unless you sit down for an hour and do it. Come over to his house Friday night and just chill. Chill? What's that? How do you sit still, bro? <laughs> I thought about building one. So what wheelbase is this? This is a Thrustmaster, I think 500? T500. T500. So it's not direct drive? No. Mm. But it's a step up from the TMX. Yeah, 100%. Same brand. Yeah. So same shifter is what y'all got, I guess, right? Yeah. Looks it, yeah. And then it's just the eBay drift thing that I don't use because y'all made me get a drift handle. Is that the same pedals mounted upside down or? Kind of, yeah. Thrustmaster T500 pedals too, I think. Oh, hell. Oh, no. There's a vacuum. Not the Dyson. Oh, no. Or the fake Dyson. <laughs> don't have my fake Dyson. So what are these? 27s? 24s. 24s? What the fuck are you doing to twenty fours? Dude, go closer. <laughs> what you mean? I'm not on top of it. But they got the surround sound though. I know. I'm gonna blow his back up. So the deal with this sim it was built in like two thousand eight to two thousand ten era. Yeah. This would have been nice back Probably. then. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But uh, obviously things have changed. Look at your iPhone that you carry around every day. Um, yeah. Technology is nowhere near the same. But uh, do we know what rig it is? It's on the back of a, 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 a boot two, a, a boot two. Okay, so the seat's part of the you gig. You used to be able to buy this whole set. Had two different. This is uh, I got another tablet. This is the acrylic, and they have another one. Um, it's worked fine for a thousand dollars. I mean, I got the computer. It's a water cooled computer. So I'm gonna assume this would be a fairly budget triple monitor setup. Today standard, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like. I think, I don't know. The thing was, I thought I looked this thing up and I thought it was still a thousand dollars. Yeah. I don't know, man. Google it while I'm getting this whole thing. I mean, straight. it's all integrated, it looks like. So, it's pretty nice. Still a company. Real. Obviously, <laughs> just give it a second. If you're in Google, it's 876. Damn. 
That's a single monitor too, ain't it? Yeah, it's a single monitor, so not even a triple. Well, I don't know who would pay that when you can get what you got, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, they're, yeah, just... I think that's the same thing. Yeah, I'll tell you, I've been a whole lot faster to put together. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing comes... Well, we had in the bed of your truck one time. Straight to Drifter, are we going into the C7? I guess we'll go to the Brands, Chevy... Chevrolet. Stingray. That's it, right? Oh, Wheeler. Dude ain't got road Atlanta. What a poser, man. All right, quick little download. That's the sick part about Content Manager. If you want something or you need something, you just type it in, you get it. Yeah. Cute. Oh, little spicy, little spicy. It's terrible. <laughs> what do you mean? That was terrible. It's got to be better than the shop, so right? Yeah, it is. I mean, no five <laughs> was no faster. Same time. Let me shut your door, dude. Appreciate that. <laughs> Won't you fall out? <sighs> you know, we're getting a good comparison. We got two big TVs and two triple monitors set up. Yeah. Calm down. Getting greedy. I am. <laughs> I know I can be faster. Oh, yeah, I feel like I had a 130 something in this car easy. I just, you know, it's took twice. It's gonna be like, dude, I ran teens in this thing. <laughs> I think it's very capable of 137. Probably. For sure. I don't remember shifting the fifth of the shop. This thing seems like it wanna be. Maybe I'm just not holding around. Or You ran a 140 at the shop too, didn't you? 40-0 at the shop. Go to. Man, this does feel a lot better. Oh, for sure, yeah. And how much is this steering wheel versus the shop steering wheel? Like price-wise? Yeah. Uh, right here's a Thrustmaster RS with pedals. It's on eBay though. It's 750 bucks. Damn, That's dude. wild. It feels good. I mean, it kind of does have like a direct drive. Dude, I'll sell mine tonight. They got these on here on eBay. People must like these. 1200 bucks. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the wheel gave me so much confidence. I started overdriving the car. Yeah, it's, it gives you a lot of feedback. Like same, I blew that corner every time. Brakes don't have the same feel though. Mm -mm. Brakes feel like boo boo. I was pushing those brakes through the floor on this and I wasn't doing that over there. So this is a double belt driven feedback system with a 65 watt electric motor. So does it have like a newton meters rating on this? Like I think the one at the shop's like one and a half newton really? meters. Really? Yeah, two at tops. Well, this got to be what five or six. This is what's M N M M M N M. Yeah, what does it say? One hundred fifty. Oh no. Turn this thing all the way up. It's rough, but it ain't. I don't know where it's at right now. Hers. This was the wheel I always wanted when I was younger. It feels good. I will say that for it's the good price. For, for the price point, would not buy it. No, but if this was like you know three four hundred bucks for sure i mean hell thrustmaster's got our fanatec right now is 399 for a csl dd it, with pedals you can't beat that like i said that's the top of the line wheel back in the day mine's got 23 but i'll never use it no 
we playing Mud Runner. You stuck in the mud on 54 inch tars <laughs> with no power steering. Rocking her back and forward. Turn. Yeah. something maybe damn damn you beat me again already regardless it's way better than the shop you can, but I don't know man is it even worth buying one like the shops like start now no the Fanatec deal right now yeah. $3.99 you just can't beat that you can't you really can't I can't fucking see. Where's Matt? <laughs> we ain't even sponsored by Fantech. We can be. Hit us up. How's this thing? Oh, dude, I'm gonna break your shit. You ain't got to pull it too hard. Hell no, there ain't no resistance. But this is what you got to deal with. I mean, it's a fifty dollar. I ain't got. I got it turned all the way down. It ain't three. this. It's this whole. Thing. Oh, oh yeah. table moves. Tables flexing. Well, right hand drive car, man. I see a lot on the right side. It's wild feeling in here, dude. Holy shit, that thing felt fast as hell. <laughs> now this is the stock wheel, so it's tiny. I like when you upgrade them to a, like a normal style. Yeah. 50, whatever wheel. How you do? Whip it one, whip it the wrong way, and then just clutch kick it the other way. This ain't bad, Chase. It really ain't. I hate it, bro. Quit bitch about it and fucking drive this thing. It's good. Oh, damn. Didn't it? I like it. I dig it. If this was a little bit more... The bigger screens and stuff would go a long way on this rig. It felt fine, honestly. I think it, the, I think it just feel more... You don't feel murder. Like you're not in it. You see everything in the room when you're looking at those little screens. But I don't know if that thing can handle any bigger screens. I'm not sure what to do. The only thing I don't like is the small screen. Yeah, no, that's it. The wheel's tiny. Dude, I'm telling you, that's kind of set up good. I've kind of worked on the wheel for a long time. I'm regretting my decisions. I'm on telling you, all you need is a bigger, steering wheel. a bigger steering wheel. Yeah, I agree with that. The little wheel feels a little weird. But it's you get used to it after about two laps. If you can buy a hub for that and put one of the carbon wheels on there, dude, that thing would. Oh, it's gonna cut your finger off. It, it might. There it is. You can see the wheel doing all the work. There you go. There you go. Little early, little early.
So general consensus, this is way better. Than the shop. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Okay. It's so, hard to be 11 years old. So take it from a bunch of non-driving nobodies. TMX Pro. Skip that. Uh, skip that as well. It's got a good deal used. For sure. Yeah. Fanatec though, DD. Yeah. It's, you just can't beat it for $3.99. I mean, that doesn't include a clutch pedal or shifter, but you can go on eBay right now and pick up a six speed shifter, I think 60 bucks. Yeah. Handbrake's 50 and the clutch add-on, I think's another 50. So, I mean, you're looking. Probably the same price bucks. as that is on eBay used 10 years old. The eBay stuff is high. So, there must be a market for people. It feels great. That it likes it. it so really. I'll put that thing on there and see if somebody wants to buy it for seven, eight hundred bucks. <laughs> I will say, after you hop in a real car, after whipping a sim for a minute, you kind of drive a little wild. It takes you a second to reacclimate uh, reaccul to uh, laws and regulations and how you're supposed to abide like a normal human. That's a cop. How you doing? It's completely different. What do you mean? It's not even similar to any of them. Really? Oh, fact. The neck effect is really trippy. Yeah, it's, you gotta learn that. The wheel's fast, but where it's bigger, it does make it seem like you can catch it. Yeah. Your setup makes me, I like the way yours is the best. As far as just sitting in it, getting in it, the three screens, I'm over here looking at him as a child. <laughs> Um, again, I think the biggest thing is a big wheel. Getting a realistic wheel. This feels the. I think my problem is after driving both of you guys is that smaller wheel is harder to catch the rotation. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> it feels good. It's, uh, oh, broken, broken. Um, seat height, too low for me. Yeah. For sure. Have you drove it? A few times. So that's my, been a minute. The wheel feels good. I don't think it feels any better or worse than your wheel. I yeah, think no. the wheel makes the difference. Is this something you would consider getting that wheelbase or 
What what would you um or would you just want to put a wheel like a actual I want to try a wheel on mine yeah. that's actual size because last night I tuned on it after yeah. we all met up so and it felt better and it's not as good as this this still has that I think the direct drive just has a feeling you can't get with a belt drive potentially I think Maybe. that's one thing that's missing alright y'all so since Chase is up I'll show you this rig now this is wheels aluminum one a little bit different from my aluminum one just a little bit of square stock welded up together. Got a flat piece so we can bolt the Fanatec DDS to. What is it? A DD? C, CL? What, what the? CSL DD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a five Newton meter, but it's got a boost pack you can get extra. Make it eight Newton meter, so feels pretty good. Got all the other Fanatec stuff, shifter. Uh, it's Fanatec Hydro too, ain't it? Yeah, it's all Fanatec. So, got the hanging pedals. You said they're pretty expensive. Six, they got motors too don't they yeah it's so you can feel it all in the braking on that just a single 40 it's a 43 or 50 i think it's a 43 okay but ford explorer seat <laughs> <laughs> not a bad little setup but it built this in the shop super lightweight Fast. had to transport it so primary reason it gets the job done i'm gonna play it what the hell are you doing, dude? <laughs> Damn, that didn't even look like popcorn until I zoomed in. <laughs> hey, yo. I like the gravy cars the best. Oh, brother, BDC's for real men, though. Fuck. I'm saying, like, I feel like these cars feel good. That's a good medium. It's realistic. Yeah. They do things like a real car should do. Yeah, it feels good. The SD cars are hard to drive. That's what the BDC are. Okay. You're talking about grip dub. That C6 Mustang, or C6. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Vanilla Coke got me tripping. Now, the, uh, the C6 grip car you get on here is pretty slick. Like when this thing gets up to angle, man, it just scrubs every bit of speed it's got. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna hold it. Us back. those TRX kids, bro. Maybe. I hope so. I hope. I'd love nothing more to be able to crab walk my shit out to Sean. <laughs> He's running the yeah. track backwards, ain't he? Yeah. Me? Turn around. I'm going backwards? Yeah, turn yeah. around. It feels way better. This way it feels way more natural. You know, I do think I prefer the triples now. Yeah. I was a big single monitor man. But After driving yours and mine, triple all the way. Yeah, I personally, think, I think I'm at. I mean, it's a fing bitch to mount and set up and get right. For sure. I don't know if I got the room for it. It's good. I think the the wheel is tuned very nicely as far as rotation. It, yeah, I mean it's not fighting me at all. It's it not feels, jerking back and forth. It's it's dialed. Yeah. The, We're showing all. <laughs> Until he's got the most seat time. <laughs> Might be his rig. I don't know. Yeah. That truck's just easy. It is so flowy. That's it's a good truck. You can just literally pat it around. You if somebody could build that track in real life, that would be the most fun. Is that not a real track? No. <gasps> no. Artificial. I'll swap it. I guess we're going to do the C7. Smooth as fast, bro. Smooth as fast. Hard to be smooth with pedal eight thousand pounds. Yeah, I need to change it. It'd be nice if it had some throw. You can only move it about a half an inch, inch tall. 
my hands blocking the steering like the whole screen. <laughs> Dude, I tried. I think I had. I was working with something there, but like, uh, dang. some rally racing. If he can turn a lap, then we know that we just suck. <laughs> I but, think we know that already. Hi. That's tough car. With no stuff on that car, it drives like doo doo. Yeah. And this 45 pound pedal this man juicy. I feel like I was literally trying to move the wall of the house. <laughs> I moved the whole seat away yeah. from it hitting a brake. But the worst part is, it's like you're like, push, 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 and you move this far and it's like locked. <laughs> That's pretty nice right there, pretty nice. Oh, he on a line. He got a, he got a heater coming. I hate to see you choke right here, bro. He's conservative right now, he's doing good. He's kind of riding a fine line. There ain't much conservative going on, on right now. On the hard there. turns, he's been conservative. I think that's all a man can do. Dude's immersed. He's in it. Shit, I don't know how he saved that. <laughs> don't get greedy right there. Too late. Too far in. He's gonna keep it though. He got it, he got it. Oh, consistent as a clock. He's a one. 139 two. Alright, what's your review? What's your thoughts? My thoughts? First, Hell dude, I don't know. I ain't gonna talk shit about dude's rig. You I ain't gonna talk shit about your rig. Just, so that ours obviously suck if you're holding back. <laughs> I'll talk shit about my rig. Oh, this, this is a review. I don't know. I mean, you gotta think. It, this is just home built. Yeah. In like maybe an hour with some scrap metal uh, and some eyeball and just sitting down on an Explorer seat. We're like, we think this feels good. We didn't have we didn't have the TV on this, did we? No. Yeah, like it just we, we just built it, put a sim base on it and that was it. Okay. Seat needs to come up where the base need to come down. Brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Two stiff. Try to all three. This is a, this is oh I mean all three. Don't 
take away the shop. The shop don't count. <laughs> what do you Sam. mean the shop don't count? There ain't no Sam. <laughs> I did completely laugh. I mean, basically, you know, are indeed Sim Rig Bay, you know, built versus home built and triple monitors yeah. versus single monitor, basically. Because you don't have to get like the TR160 like I got. You can get what is it, the TR80? Something yeah. like that. Which save you probably half the money, I'd say. And for a base like that, plenty sufficient. Oh, yeah. They just said a base like mine with the 23 newton meters cranked up. You can get a lot of tweak and a lot of flex. Which I say this thing probably flexes a little bit too, don't it? You got to turn. It's pretty weak force feedback right now. Yeah, I got to turn down. I wouldn't knock my wheel if you found one used. No, no, no. Not at all. For the eBay price, not a chance. Yeah, I'll even, I'll even I'm buying one of those for yeah, sure. Yeah, if, you, if your buddy's got an old... 500 Thrustmaster and then give it to you for 100 bucks. Yeah, run it for sure. But um, now for drifting, this is this is better. This is good. Fantech and y'all stuff. Sim well, that's magic. just direct drive in general. Direct drive is better for drifting, hands down. Your rig is 100 percent a better rig. Like you're in it, you feel you're you immersed, whatever y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you're it's in it. Immersion. immersion. How you feel? Triples, single. I was a single Triple. man. I want it. Triple. Triple. Triples is the play if you have the time and effort. Better VR. VR is nice, which I do. do he do. VR. He got the VR for drifting, but I get, I get sick. Can't do it. I've tried. VR is nice because then it don't matter what this doing. You just gotta know where it's at yeah. in space. You don't you, have to look over it. You don't have to have a big TV or triple, none of that stuff. You can have you a little 27 inch single monitor, and that's all, man. Need. It could just be this without a TV. It you could. Over here, do it. <laughs> sit down. And yeah, I know a lot of people that have just a basic rig with VR and they seem to like it. Yeah. I mean, if you can handle VR, for sure. What's VR run now? If you buy like, that's not bad, like three, four hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah. So that's always been told. That's like that's the budget entry for sure. Because you buy VR. Well, you want to talk about immersion? That's you're, immersion. Yeah, you're. You get a little fan blowing on you, <laughs> light a candle with some race fuel in it. But if it looks good and you can handle it, that's cheaper than getting a triple three monitor nice set up. Monitors, yeah. Because sure. then your rig itself can be slimmed down for room and size. But then you got that big thing hanging off your head if you're trying to get like hours of seat time in and a lot of something. You got a helmet on your head when you're driving in real life. I guess. I guess. So. I don't know. VR is nice. TVs are nice. It's just what you can handle. Sound like a good spot to end it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that the tap? Yeah. <laughs> I just sent it in. Her head. So what's the little plastic little divider there? So at your bezel this kit, because of your gaps and whatnot, or even your trim, kind of makes it all seamless. But is that clear not mess with the man? Okay, See, well, it's, once it's on, it ain't so like bad. on camera from back here. The only thing you can re you got the black lines, yeah. but that's because we don't have the monitors close enough. <laughs> that's two drilled and tapped up. <laughs> that quick time. SRT4 neon seat on a track register base, dude. Cheers. That easy. But yeah, no, if you got your monitors set up the way they're supposed to be, these are curved, so they require spacers um they make them for flat and curved okay and uh, this has to make contact see how it's not making contact the spacers help with that which then make everything are you gonna put spacers in later yeah i mean i just got bored last night and just tossed them in but it's not hateful no, i feel like i'd be required to play this set more often like, it just looks good <laughs> I feel like I'd be all, but I come downstairs and be like, all right, okay. It's like brushing your teeth. You just gonna have to get on there and play. <laughs> Everything feel good where it's at, though? Yeah. Brakes are just nuts. It really is. Let that out. Look, well, I wanted it to be as accurate because so I was going manual in the Volvo. Look, I had manual brakes. I don't remember my foot breaking. <laughs> Oh, look at you just sliding a C7, dude. <laughs> Shit, son. Watch oh, this wall. How it works. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to take some tinkering, too, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Unfortunately, everything does. Going down in Road Atlanta and the Legend car, the late model, I remember just 
standing on them brakes. You about can on these. Everyone pretty consistent with their time so far, so the sim don't make that big a difference. It's just I feel way more confident if I can figure out these brakes. Well, yeah. now we're it's just who gets comfortable, you yeah? know, or how comfortable you are with what you drive. Maybe the sim do make the man. Okay, I'm gonna take a break because my foot's tired. <laughs> <laughs> Car's got way more than 138 in it. Like, yeah. With this setup, I feel this feels real comparative to what I'm used to out of the two, three things we've done. Good to know. The brake pedal to me feels really heavy. However, that is as close to real life I've ever felt as when I raced at Road Atlanta. As far as I remember. In that late model, it was a dog box, but I remember just stomping this thing. <laughs> oh, and it feels just like that. I mean, like it's manual it hydraulics, dude. 100%. It's, yeah. Yeah. It might be a little tight. But it came with a bunch of springs to be able to adjust the pressure. I think so. you just dropped the pressure, but that, that actual feel of pushing that brake in, that is legit manual brakes. I mean, that's... Good to hear, dude. You're, you're going to feel like when you, if the Volvo, you're set up, that's what it's going to feel like. Except for, it's just a little heavy. I think that if you had a softer... You got soft feet, spring. brother. Soft feet. Oh, it's, it's, it feels real comparative to what in the graphics. I'm the screens. Uh, now I didn't even look in this part of the world. Like I was still in here. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, in real life, you have to turn your head to see stuff. Yeah. You know? So I'm excited to see what the drifting's like. all those people when you get in those eye racing races when i get on there the people that have the top tier equipment just consistently drive better yeah plus like the higher newton meter stuff the reason i got it apparently it's just a lot more direct in terms of feel like it the inputs feel a lot better yeah, and stuff like you can actually feel road conditions and through the wheel versus like the shop's wheel you kind of yeah. just guessing this is the main reason why i bought this was for drifting seat time Honing my skills so I don't wad this Volvo up first lap. Thanks. In real life. I bought these pedals because I'm planning to do a floor mount pedal setup in the Volvo. Manual high. You know what to do. I'm just. Yeah, that's what I say I want to move my wheel down a little bit. I like the Job. This thing grips the f up. I think my damn calves are sweating, dude. Tell you, it's a job to drive this thing. Fall in love or hate it. One of the two. Ain't much of an in between. No worse. What do you mean, dude? Yours is great. Dude literally just needs a bigger wheel on it. Yeah. This right here is what feels good to me, like that, like the feeling that wheel, I mean that reminds me of That thing will life. burn your hands. This feeling like wanting to pull, pull at me. Like that right there. Like that Getting to this a million years. 
years on my side. Make circles around this whole thing. I don't know, dude. No, really. Like, it just, I don't know. In my head, I just feel like I'm actually doing what I should be doing. I mean, that could be because you're actually feeling like you're in this due to the monitors. I wouldn't say it's all wheel fill. I'd say your wheel fill is similar other than this one's a little faster. Sure. It's the, like when you're, when it's pulling against you. Um, like, hold on, I'll get a turn where you can. I don't know, it's just, it's that actual, like, real feedback. And also, yeah, I think it feels way, way better for drifting. It 10, does. 10 out of 10. It just feels like I'm actually doing what it should be doing in first place. It's a workout, though. Yeah, but I feel there's way more enjoyment when I feel like it's giving me feedback that's realistic. Who'd have thought you could actually drift it? Huh. <laughs> Got Big Daddy on here. Gonna show us how it's done. Break his thumbs. I'll be going for it. <laughs> we'll let it slide. A little sloppy. Oh. <laughs> all right, Mr. Drove all of them, home all of them. What do you think? That's good. We just got dial settings in. So yours is dialed, right? As good as it's probably ever going to be. I'm excited to drive yours. I would be. His is good. My, it still feels like a sim to me because it's got a small wheel. Yeah. It, it's still, it's bigger than yours. I don't know what to do about that though. I, I guess, I don't know if they make like a. Oh, I think they do make like a hub. hub like I got. Because that's like a mag link thing, you know. Because I've a, got a hub that has like all my buttons and stuff on it, but it accepts any six bolt wheel. And that helps because yeah. obviously a smaller wheel feels it's like it's harder to whip it feels good like driving but mm -hmm. like drifting you like the leverage of the yeah. bigger wheel leverage would help because right now this thing's kind of cranked and it's a little wheel so you're trying to yeah. you're trying to fight a lot but i like it it's good i like the triple monitors i might move to it i don't know yet i liked it i felt that's the most i've enjoyed a sim because the brakes as soon as i went down 10a 10b that felt real like, I was like, holy crap, this is the flashbacks. <laughs> I'll never forget that. And it, that felt as real as that. The gas pedal itself, um, the throttle is a lot easier not to catch yourself, like, resting, like, wad, wad on it. Mm -hmm. And then, to me, the steering wheel felt great. Like, it just had that, what it should feel like. You know, there's not a... Shifter's a little weird, 3.5, and, you know, it kind of picks where it wants to go. That's just all of them, except for the... You know, the Thrustmaster stuff's got the gated because yeah. even my, my Fanatec shifter, which y'all will see either before or after this. Yeah. Figure that out in post editing. <laughs> it's the same. I mean, you don't yeah. know. There's no gates. Like, you just have to push. Don't try to give it any side, yeah. nothing. Just push. I think from watching you, like at the shop, you're like, I'm so used to making something do what I want it to do, I got to get used to letting it do it. You though. couldn't drive 10 laps on this like what you do two no. laps at the shop no. you know what yeah. i'm saying like no. it, this is going to make you smoother yeah because it feels real well it's right. easy to be smooth when the wheel does it because you're sitting here fighting every movement trying to make the car not do something when it should all be in the wheel yeah. you personally like you flick it you let go of the wheel it's going to carry the car and it'll try to go too far you need to catch it at the right moment and just kind of minute steering movements is all you want mm -hmm. drifting like you sitting there trying to yeah whip but you thing. have to at the shop you do it some, yeah. yeah the shop has to the shop is full and of that's bad all habits. the experience yeah, it's yeah. real bad habits yeah. this will clean you up so i would be sold if you're going to play and actually think you're going to put some time in on it i would i'd be sold on spending the cash on going ahead and buying what the crowd wants on getting Real. some stuff because I mean, I mean, that was my mentality, but I didn't know because I've never had none. I've based everything I know off what Wheels had and what he's built. Like I said, he built a shop. He built the one we're going to go see before this one, after this one, regardless. And he's always, you know, contemplating, should I do this? Should I do that? Going triple monitors from singles. Should he build one of these profiled aluminum boys versus what he's already got? So we just didn't know. But... I guess now we kind of know. Or do we? Yeah, I'm not set on these yet. I like it with 
that we need to obviously spend probably a the whole evening adjusting this. Yeah. Never adjusting everything. Yeah. Like, I just, There's I mean, a lot of to it. That's what I'm saying. Like the shops, it was fun, easy. Oh, screw it's quick. Some we bottles. threw it together in a night. And, and it worked. It worked, and it just, it's not stopped adapted working. And went. Yeah, you, yeah. Just, you, you can't fix what's wrong with it. You just drive it. This is, you know. This is too infinite good. adjustability, and every time you have That's good adjustability, and bad. Yeah. One, you got to have time in it to make it what you want. It's you can sit here and be like, "Dang, I don't like that." You can either choose to learn it or be like, "Damn, I can adjust it to how I personally yeah. want." Take away the the track racer. Take away that stuff. To me, the shifter. And then after I figured out the handbrake a little bit, it yeah. had some good feels to it. There's, oh, there's yeah, there is good positive, like definitely worth investing on those things and that thing's only like 150 bucks i believe i could be wrong don't quote me on that but that's just that's their entry cool. level electronic one they sell a hydraulic yeah. one like the pedals too but I, I thought that was a little crazy i didn't need it that feels great it feels good it's good because mine has mine's like between his and mine has feel like you know you're pulling yeah. it you know there's some tension starting to happen but it's not as heavy as that yeah. and again when we get our handbrakes in our cars see how much vibe they've got yeah that's what i'm in yeah, for sure i'll change my springs up because it's got adjustable springs in it now i will say i like your brake pedal feel better than mine mine's actually stiffer i don't know mm -hmm. i haven't tried to like i can actually push all that's the like way. a two-stage deal yeah, Plus I like that. Yeah, yeah for sure i'm gonna have to adjust mine like after playing this it's like i don't need but these either. pedals right here I'm, dude these pedals are more than a tilton three pedal setup them's literally like eight nine hundred dollars yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, buy once, cry once, it's tough to say when you're like, damn, that's a lot for yeah, yeah. for a game. The pedal felt good, but I will say. I wasn't going to buy some damn TMX pedals to put on this, though, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even my pedals, we haven't seen yet, are 700 bucks. Yeah. My Fanatex. I didn't buy them. I paid $1,300 for the whole. I everything. wish I could have found this for, you know, sub two. But, but then I upgraded my wheel because I wanted to try the direct drive. Because I, I bought my wheel when the direct drives first came out and I wanted direct drive, but everybody was buying them up. Yeah. It was couldn't, hard to get for a while. Couldn't find one. You're looking at paying freaking seven, eight hundred dollars, thousand bucks for this direct drive that you can get new now with pedals for four hundred bucks. It's yeah. like I can't do that. I can't justify it. So the pedals that come with the four hundred dollar wheel, what's it like? There's it's just some, a breaking of gas though. It's breaking gas. You gotta add the clutch pedal, which it's is an add on. Bucks. Yeah. But it it's, bolts right onto it or whatever. Be interesting. Like I said, I might like I said Play his, make your decision. Because, I, like I said, this is good. And it's only going to get better the more we get used to it and learn it. But is it $1,300, $6,000? Is it that much better than what he's got? I don't. You got, we got to, we'll spend a weekend when we're not. Filming. Yeah, I mean, I guess we don't have enough seat time to base Yeah, it, I mean, man. I literally have the most seat time out of everyone. On yeah. My bag, 100%. It's and just, that's why I bought this, because dude's going to mop a floor with me. That's just all I do. Like, I'm bored at home. Nobody's online to play Call of Duty or anything. I'm like, damn, I'm turn my rig on. We'll sit here and fuck around for an hour. Speaking of which, if y'all are interested in us doing some sort of... We're trying to start a Boosting Bad Habits server, and we'd love to have a bunch of people do, like, a 30-car train drifting. Yeah. Like, and y'all, sim players, let us know. It ain't, ain't got to be a setto. Yeah, we can play anything. I, we, I don't know server-wise what they well, got. Well, is easy to play okay. with people what about project cars or project dirt? cars is easy is there dirt? anything dirt wise nobody like we need a rally cross game yeah well project cars has project, project cars, cars has got some fun rally. we we had a ball i like that project cars send each other pictures of our times yeah, <laughs> yeah facts. No, so i'll buy that cars, next project cars is the easiest it's similar to forza on how you play like a seto was literally made 15 years ago yeah and so like we have to find ip addresses to get on play with <laughs> friends is like you know, Assetto is cr trash on that end, but the physics for drifting. They're really good for drifting. Yeah. Road course, eh. It's all right. It's all seat time. Yeah, for sure. Seat time, seat time, seat time. Chase getting all kind of it. What's all over me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, if you're interested in that, let us know in the comments. We'll buy. Is it buy? We got to buy some, rent something. I'll, we'll rent a server. Yeah. We'll get it going. Get a, a good way for y'all to hang out, meet, get a Discord going, I guess. Yeah, I'll, we'll make a Discord server just for boosting bad habits. It'll have the link to the track or the server and all that in it. So. We'll wait to hear from y'all, but if it's if there's a lot of comments about it, we'll spend the time. And yeah. I got two minutes left on this new SD card. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess that was a good way to end this. So we're just going to yeah, insert my. That's what I'm saying. In. So we probably, like I said, inserted his stuff in before we came here. His house is just like 30 minutes further than the circle that we just drove today to get to everywhere. But we're going to end this off here. Basically, the takeaway is build what's ever in your budget. It's all going to be good enough, but uh, go direct drive. The Fanatec stuff's good. It's cheap. Spring for direct drive, for sure. For sure. But we're going to end this one off here. It's been a long one. Got a lot to edit. If you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Until next time.